Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful weekend and I hope you're feeling ready for Monday. I am feeling very ready for Monday for nutrition and I'm excited about what we did today to prep as a family. So what happens on a weekend is we all decide with my little handy dandy menu card here, um, we decide what we want to have for the week's worth of food. So we talk about it. We talk about breakfast and lunches and dinners. And so then the kids are involved too. And everybody seems to be happier when meals are on the table. So we really got um, our meal prep on today. So I'm feeling very ready for Monday. So tomorrow starts my nutrition only group, which is focusing specifically on nutrition. I still have my exercise nutrition group running, but I have my nutrition only group starting tomorrow as well. So I wanted to feel 100% on track and ready for that group to start. So I spent a lot of time on meal prep today. It doesn't always happen that I spend a lot of time on meal prep. Sometimes I spend a little bit of time, but today I was sure to be on point. So I want to take you inside of the fridge here and show you what it looks like and what we did. Um, and I say we because it's a collective effort. Everybody helps. The kids help wash things. Um, my husband goes to the grocery store oftentimes. He helps cut and wash things as well. We all help decide what we're going to have. So it is a collective effort. Okay. So here we go. Are you ready for this? Let's start over here. These are pre-cut vegetables. So we have the most amazing store here in Utah that does all kinds of pre-cut vegetables. So those are pre-cut vegetables washed and ready to go. All right, strawberries are washed and ready to go. The kids love strawberries. I like to spray my strawberries before I wash them because if you know anything about strawberries, you know that they're part of the dirty seven or dirty dozen, I can't remember what it is. So I use this, I love it. I spray them and wash them really well because we love them, but I know that they can be on the list of dirties. Okay, I always buy organic strawberries, by the way. Okay, chicken, I roasted, or excuse me, I cooked an entire chicken in, a, in the slow cooker tonight. These are leftovers. We have some Greek potatoes in there for leftovers as well. And then over here, I have all these little pre-cut onions and peppers. I use these in everything, eggs, in salads, in whatever I'm cooking, basically. So those are all pre-chopped and ready to go. Lunch number one is packed for little one number one. Lunch number two is packed. Please don't hold that against me, but I guess we do have someone in California from the house, or from California in the house, but that's not my favorite team. Okay, next up, I made some carrot apple muffins. These will act as snacks for the kids. So in the morning, um, the little ones know to grab this, put it in their backpack for their morning snack at school. That's ready to go. We have Hubs lunches here. A little bit of hummus, a little bit of salad, a little bit of leftover pizza that we made. So these are Hubs lunches for two days. We have my lunches here for two days. We have turnip fries. I made some turnip fries in the air fryer, which I love. Um, I washed and dried these little cucumbers, which are great on the go for a snack. I have my almond milk here. I did not make my own this week. So we have almond milk, which has two ingredients. I have, uh, this morning we had crepes for breakfast, so I made some little crepe pockets to go, which will either go inside of lunches or they will be an after school snack. All right, up here we have some hard boiled eggs. Tomorrow morning we're gonna have some toast with avocado toast and hard boiled eggs. Those are ready to go. I have my Ezekiel sprouted English muffins, which I love, great fiber filled carb. All right, we have our feta cheese, our cottage cheese. We have all of our condiments here. We have a little bit of squeezed lemon juice there. And I have my little oatmeal jars here, which I love. This is a chocolate banana. And then these two up here are vanilla raspberry. So this will be a, this will accompany my um, breakfast, which this is a fiber filled carb that I like to have. So that will accompany breakfast in the morning. Then I have more roasted vegetables over here and I have my um, jicama fries. So you can see the jicama fries up there. So those are just more rest, roasted vegetables. I have more roasted vegetables down here. We have a lot of vegetables here in this drawer from cauliflower and rice to broccoli to spinach to carrots to some berries in there and um, everything is pretty much ready to go. The other thing I like to do, moms out there or dads out there that have kids that go to, the school, to school in the morning, I like to fill their stainless steel water bottles the night before because they can grab them for breakfast and they can grab them and put them in their, in their um, lunch box or in their uh, backpacks. And it may seem like a tedious little thing, but I'm telling you just that one little thing finished and done and ready for the morning when it's rushed is very helpful. So lunches are packed, water bottles are filled, the kids know what they're grabbing for their snacks. Um, they both still have a snack at school in the morning so they know what to grab and um, everything's pretty much ready to go. Over here you can see that we have some beets. So those are all washed and ready to go. I just am drying them here so I'm not gonna put them in the fridge when they're too wet. 
all of our fruits and vegetables over there are washed and um, ready to go because on the go when you want something quick you're running out the door it's really easy to, to grab something packaged but if you have a washed apple or a washed um, thing of tomatoes it's just as easy to grab those so I am excited tomorrow is our nutrition only group if anyone still wants in on that there's still room there's still time we're just starting to prep tomorrow um, I still have the nutrition and exercise group what running and then tomorrow starts the nutrition only so at all times I'm really running something along those lines if you have any questions let me know if you want to learn more about meal prepping and you have some ideas or if you need some ideas let me know that as well i hope everyone has a wonderful sunday i'm going to turn in for the night feeling ready for a monday and i'll see you bright and early have a good one bye